we've got right about one month left here in Operation Grand Heist. Meaning these next few weeks are going to be packed with content, not only based around our current operation, but also content teasing and hinting towards our next operation as well. This means more easter eggs coming to the blackout map, new character leaks, and even more. So today we're breaking down everything we currently know about Operation Number 4 and our next DLC pack here in Black Ops 4. What's up guys, Zachary Immortal here, welcome back to the channel and thanks for stopping by. If you're new here and you'd like to stay up to date with all the latest Black Ops 4 news, leaks, rumors, all that kind of stuff, feel free to subscribe with your post notifications turned on, that way you'll always be caught up with the latest Black Ops 4 news and intel. And of course, if you guys enjoy the video, definitely drop a like on it as it does really help the channel grow. Now, Operation 4 is currently unnamed, at least to the general public, but it is rapidly approaching, and the major leaks, teases, and reveals for it are going to be here a lot sooner than you might think. And actually, we've already had some pretty prominent leaks in multiple areas of the game, which tie into some really interesting easter eggs that have actually been in front of us for quite some time now. Alongside Operation Number 4, we also will be receiving another DLC pack, presumably as each of our last two operations have introduced new maps in multiplayer and a new map in zombies at some point during the operation, so we can expect to see more of the same there. Now, like I mentioned, we currently have right around one month left in Operation Grand Heist, at least on PlayStation 4, and with that we know thanks to the in-game countdown that Operation Number 4 will be going live on Tuesday, April 30th for PS4, and then one week later on May 7th for Xbox One and PC. And with that initial launch date of April 30th fresh in our minds, we can also tell roughly when the major reveals and teases for Operation Number 4 and DLC Number 3 will commence too. Now, shout out to my buddy Ecoli Espresso for this one as he was the one who really made this pattern clear to me, but apparently Activision really likes announcing things about two weeks ahead of time, meaning typically when there's new DLC coming up, It'll be announced, teased, or revealed partially two weeks prior to its launch, and then the more prominent information will drop about one week prior to its launch. That said, it's likely that right around April 16th to the 23rd, we'll end up seeing our first bits and pieces of Operation Number 4 surface, and in the coming days after that, we'll probably get some small quote-unquote puzzle pieces leading up to the official reveal. Of course, with Operation Grand Heist, Treyarch started changing their profile picture out on a daily basis, hinting at new features coming in Grand Heist, including the blackout map updates correlating to the various surveying stakes that we had placed all around the map. We also saw the Outriders specialist teased, and a handful of other things as well. So I would expect to see more of the same here, right around the 16th to the 23rd, so I'll definitely be sure to keep my eyes peeled and have the latest information for you guys regarding those teases when the time comes around. Outside of that though, what we have available to us right now is actually pretty promising in terms of what kind of content we can expect to see coming up with our next DLC pack and operation. So starting over in multiplayer, we actually have not just one, but two major leaks regarding new specialist characters that are currently on the way. And if history repeats itself with the pattern of one new specialist per operation, we could actually have our next two operations worth of specialist characters leaked to us already, which in the grand scheme of things is pretty unprecedented this far ahead in the future. But as with all leaks, nothing really is set in stone until Treyarch, Activision, or some other official source publicly reveals the information, so take what we have here with a grain of salt. That said, our first specialist leak actually has to do with Spectre from Black Ops 3. A few of you may recall that back when Black Ops 4 first launched, on the map frequency we actually had several interesting specialist related screens detailing information about Zero, Outrider, and of course Spectre. Now obviously Zero and Outrider have both been introduced as specialist characters, leaving only Spectre left out of that batch of easter eggs and why stop at 2 out of 3? That was, of course, our first initial tease at Spectre coming to Black Ops 4, but as of a recent update to PC, prominent leaker Josh Wu Cool actually found some very interesting audio files containing even more hints towards Spectre's debut. Audio files from both Zero and also Reaper, who we'll talk more about here in just a moment, both actually reference Spectre in a way that we haven't seen prior, with the lines, Call Sign Spectre, Role Access Denied, coming from Reaper, and Designation Spectre, Strange access denied coming from Zero. On top of that, even more Zero voice lines were leaked that yet again reference Spectre. Now, unfortunately, I'm not actually able to play any of these voice lines for you guys since they are leaked, 
but some of the lines include phrases like deleted Spectre, Spectre gone, and Spectre down. So, all things considered, we have a map-based easter egg pointing towards Spectre coming as a future specialist and voice lines from both Reaper and Zero referencing Spectre, both of which take place in the multiplayer environment, meaning Spectre seems to be coming to the game in the very near future. Whether it's with Operation 4 or Operation 5 though, that we don't really have any confirmation of as of yet. But like I mentioned earlier, we do actually have two very prominent specialist leaks as of right now, so let's talk a little bit about who the other potential Operation 4 specialist could be. And you actually already heard me mention the name a couple of times. It's Reaper. You might have picked up on the subtle tease I mentioned earlier when I said Reaper and Zero both have voice lines that reference Spectre in a multiplayer environment. Now obviously, Reaper is in the game right now as a Black Ops Pass based bonus character for Blackout. Reaper, in no way, shape, or form, is available in multiplayer, at least as of right now. But the exact same set of Zero's voice lines that were leaked earlier also include phrases like Reaper deleted and deactivated Reaper, both of which, once again, find their home in multiplayer gameplay, not Blackout meaning Reaper also appears to be another incoming specialist as well. But wait, there's more. I've always wanted to use that. That was the perfect opportunity. I had to do it. Anyways, that's not it for character leaks. We've also got another series of voice lines that have leaked pertaining to yet another new addition to our current character lineup. However, this one does appear to be Blackout based. Now, we all know about Danny Lee, aka Blackjack, who can be seen in the black market. And it seems that he could actually be coming to Blackout as a new character, either through the Black Ops Pass or maybe even the Black Market itself. Although I do gotta say that second option there would certainly be a little bit weird, to be honest, you know, being able to buy Blackjack from the Blackjack shop, that does seem a little bit odd. But nonetheless, these voice lines detail Blackjack rattling off phrases like, that's how you eliminate the competition obviously referencing a win over in Blackout. And there's also other phrases relating to the gesture and phrases wheel like, help me out, over here, nice work, and yo, on me. So either within the remaining weeks of Grand Heist or as a Black Ops Pass incentive for Operation 4, Blackjack could be coming to Blackout as a brand new character. But guess what? The leaks still don't stop there. I know it is leak central up in here today, ladies and gentlemen. This next leak actually pertains to DLC number three over in the zombies department. I should preface right now though, as far as the multiplayer maps go for DLC number three, we don't really have a ton of information on them at this time, but we do know we'll be getting another set of DLC maps with our next DLC pack. That's really just a given. Anyways though, as far as zombies goes, this is actually something that has been leaked for quite a while, but nonetheless, it still is pretty prominent at this time. And that is the fact that Nuketown zombies references and files have actually been found in game meaning Nuketown Zombies could be coming as the next installment to the Zombies map lineup or as just a bonus map later on down the road. Now, obviously, Ancient Evil did just drop last week over on PlayStation, which does definitely throw off the release schedule for Zombies maps as far as Operation 4's launch goes. Unless, of course, Treyarch plans on releasing two new DLC maps within the same two-month time span, and if that's the case, honestly, the more the merrier. But the way I see things playing out really is, since Ancient Evil just dropped, Operation 4's launch might be a little bit too soon for another new Zombies map. But to not leave out the Zombies community when Operation 4 goes live, maybe Treyarch throws Nuketown Zombies into DLC 3 as kind of a bonus map to keep the community occupied until the release of the next major DLC map. And while we are on the topic of Zombies, we do also know that Zombies factions will officially be coming to Black Ops 4 in Operation Number 4, per a tweet from Treyarch saying factions is planned for the next operation. So, Zombies fans, at the very least, you've got that to look forward to. With that being said though, as of right now, that is everything we currently know about Operation Number 4 and DLC 3 within Black Ops 4. Of course, a lot more intel regarding our next DLC pack and our next operation will be coming in the future days and weeks leading up to April 30th, and you can bet your money we'll be covering all that info here on the channel. So, if you do want to stay up to date with all of that kind of stuff, feel free to subscribe with your post notifications turned on, that way you'll always know when a new video goes live. And if you enjoyed this video, let me know by dropping a like rating on it, giving it a big old thumbs up, it would be much appreciated. And with that said, that does effectively wrap things up for today. Once again, thank you guys so much for tuning in, and until next time, take it easy, have an awesome rest of your day, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.